Learn more about the clicker. What do we need to do here? Let's do the case board. The tree. Wake just gave us a lot of information, but this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery. Interesting. If we are going at Watery, I mean, we know AT went there. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all of this. Hmm. It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge <laughs> on that flannel. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga's stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Why the bucket? Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. That's wild. Uh, let's go back to the case board real quick. For the tree. Well, it could be followers of Scratch. All right. Add more to the case board. The story. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Fiction coming into contact with the dark place has the power to alter reality. Oop. Uh, that means that the effect isn't immediate. There's still time to fix this. Okay. So whatever you write in the dark place becomes reality. It can't be that simple. Keep trying. If you don't stop it. Scratch will use the story to permanently change reality at the start of Deerfest. Why does he want to do that? There's an entity inside the dark place called the Dark Presence. Scratch and the Dark Presence are interchangeable. When the Dark Presence looks like Wake, it goes by the name Scratch. An evil twin is a bit convenient. I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, if we don't stop it, Scratch will use the story to permanently change reality at the start of Deerfest. Uh, all right. Wake was trapped in the dark place for 13 years. Wake was in another world that entire time. <sighs> the overlap. Some other strange reality, the dark place merged with ours. This place in the dark place, uh, the page called this area an overlap. So this is a threshold. This is where other dimensions incur upon reality. That's what the FBC calls them, thresholds. If we don't stop it, Scratch will use a story to permanently change. Uh, flashlight seems weak, seems to weaken Taken. Inside a bright light, Saga felt safe like nothing could hurt her here. Well lit areas are safe from the dark presence and the Taken. Man, we're getting so close. I entered the Cauldron Lake overlap by reciting the poem. The poem was about a local legend, a witch's lost heart about terror. Think. The clicker. A magic light switch, where do I even start with that? <laughs> hmm. Gives us two days to stop this. Where does this fit? In the form of Scratch, the Dark Presence's editing wake story wants to turn the world into a fucking nightmare. And we have one clue still for later. Hmm. This is quite a board. Oop. 
look at the cases. All right, we don't have anything else left. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Hmm. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. the tree and now he remembers writing many pages while in the dark place here we go if wake is the origin of these pages then no cult connection unless the cult is working with scratch all right oh We can interact with the bucket. I'm the only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, Switch that reality. You're a civilian. You don't need to be right or wrong. If the scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. But damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. I don't want to switch reality yet. We're going to play as Saga because I like Saga. All right. Um, fascinating. Hi, welcome. Looks like the fireman. Okay. Have Not exactly. A yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. Okay, interesting. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee themed amusement park. All of our attractions <laughs> are family friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our own Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! <sighs> Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! <laughs> oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not haunted. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. <laughs> Take in amazing views from the slow road through Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the Watery Lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. <laughs> Third time, I requested something be done about the TV in my <sighs> keeps going on by itself it's keeping me awake all night yes sir i'm terribly sorry for that uh, we called a professional electrician in the meantime have you tried unplugging the tv for the night oh oh there's an idea einstein what why, why, why don't i just get rid of everything i'm paying for in that room while i'm at it sleep on the floor <laughs> on the toilet in the corner hey i'm not unplugging it you're fixing it of course sir <laughs> okay, let's check on that. Do we have some break 
breaking news that's sure to knock your socks off. Davis Family Beef Jerky will now be available at the Sunday Market in three delicious flavors. That's right. Our favorite sponsor, Davis It looks so much like the Great Northern. Can now be enjoyed in Smoke Hickory. Teriyaki, no Call Me Lodge. And Hickory Teriyaki. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla Nursing Home and thought I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. Oh, dear. You know, when I'm feeling <laughs> stiff, I find a light snack helps. So, did you try that beef jerky? No. Lunch is at 11, and I wanted to save my appetite because <laughs> the game was This is amazing. <laughs> This is like a Grand Theft Auto radio show. They had teriyaki salmon with rice on Friday's dinner menu. Dinner's at five, but we all know the salmon takes longer to prepare, and then you're late for bingo. And who needs all that spice? I agree. Teriyaki is a shit flavor. <laughs> it's delicious on jerky. So let's give a big thank you to Wendy Davis for these samples. Wendy? No, that can't be right. Huh? Wendy went missing in 2010. I heard she's dead. No, I'm referring to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wendy Davis, that's the dead one. She's dead. Right. Well, that's our time. Huh. You keep your coffee warm and your chin up because that sunshine's right around the corner. <laughs> yeah, Wendy Davis is one of the murder suspects. Not suspects, victims. That was fascinating. That was so good. Bart says, what are my thoughts on Alan Wake? Uh, I discussed them a little bit earlier. Uh, I think it's fine. I think the first Alan Wake is fine. I think this Alan Wake is really excellent. <laughs> this is great so far. Baldwin Lake, look into news and rumors, focus on 2010. Cross-reference with old case files from NYC cult. Similarities, commonalities, and methodology, part of series. Find out name of good coffee from diner. Is this Casey's room? Pistols. Featuring the service pistol. So, uh, one of the, uh, one of the other names for the uh, the most important weapon in control, the director's gun, the thing that makes them the director, is uh, the service weapon. The service weapon, uh, Mjolnir, Excalibur, the service weapon. Very cool. Aquatic Lotus says, "What are your thoughts on Control?" Uh, I've talked about this a little bit as well uh, so far, but Control is an amazing game, genuinely excellent. More of a sequel uh, to Alan Wake. Than this game is. This game's more of a sequel to Control than Alan Wake 1. Uh, so, really amazing game. Highly recommend to play it. Uh, we'll probably play it on the channel sometime in the future. Bard says, I meant Alan Wake as a character. What do you think about him? I think he's an interesting person. Uh, I think we don't really know a lot about him. I think he's kind of an asshole, but that's what makes him interesting. All right. Um, all right. Tammy didn't want me to come. I can tell. Not like the trip is even helping. Oh, this is Eddie's room. Uh, I thought getting out of this city would inspire me, but Bright Falls is just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. I need to find something. I'm tired of writing one-act plays about how shitty the world is. I thought scathing social commentary would make me feel, make me fell like a real artist. It's spell. It's just spelled wrong in the transcription because it's correct here. See, feel, feel like a real artist. But I don't know. It's not me. I want to write something weird. Something really out there. Something authentic, but what? Sorry, I had to hiccup. Fuck this town. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. 
It's weird, though, sitting here in the hotel room. Some pieces are starting to fall together. An idea for a new play, a space cult burning down the galaxy in some misguided search for TBD. A lone man, an artist, wandering the stars until his destiny puts him straight in the cult's path. All black cast? Musical? All rock opera? That's Remedy's next game. In the more dictionary sense, RF says, in the more dictionary sense, I find this game to be the most mature effort from Remedy. I agree. This in control. Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Huh. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself <laughs> and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. All right. So he was attacked. Wait a minute. That's huge. I don't think we have any new information from that, but that's a big deal. Any script pages. Tammy rides the ferry. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes. Do what they did. See what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy mm -hmm. felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things, things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Okay, interesting. That's that room. Hello. It says do not disturb on it, lady. Don't go in. It's not opening. All right. Hmm. Can't go back there. Are we finally going to be able to see what's out here? <laughs> nope. Just that point of interest we can't interact with that's supposed to be right here. Wait, I can interact with it now. What is it? What do I do? It's highlighted. Does that mean it's here now? Or is it just that? Yeah, it's, it's just gotta be this. I'm still mad that I can't figure out where that's supposed to go. Enjoy your day. She really looks like Sherilyn Fenn. That's interesting. Uh, what's my goal right now? Track down the clicker in Watery. Gotcha. Can I explore more of the town, though, at this point? Is there more stuff around here we can do? Like unlocks? Ah.
can go back here. We don't have bolt cutters though. Damn it. Where was the note about the bolt cutters? Can I squeeze through there? I can't. I guess when we find them, we'll figure it out, right? Hello, how are you? The lawyer. RF says, do you get the impression that the weird people, way people act towards Saga during daylight are actually Daddy's shadow people? No. I, to tell you. I think they're just weird. I think they're just NPCs. <laughs> I can't get through this. Why would she do that? I'm a lovely person. Lovely people Mulligan very frequently. To stay out of the basement. And now, there's nowhere to be found. I bet they're just trying to get out of work. Let's not mm. assume the worst of our colleagues. Yeah, God forbid. Can't go back down there. Okay. Those were just the two the places I wanted to check out. Man. Yeah, all that stuff's locked, so we can't go there. And I guess we're going to try to head down to Watery? I don't know. It doesn't seem like anything else has opened up down here. Performance really chugs in this town. demanding, especially when you play with ray tracing on. Can I explore more of the town or is it going to turn me around? I want to just try. Let's see. Okay, I won't be able to go this way. Oh yeah, but the Door item bolt cutters. What? <laughs> Door item bolt cutters. I think this is a this is a broken label. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I need a screwdriver. I need bolt cutters. Break room shoebox. Janitor's bucket. What is this point of interest? I'm so curious what the hell this is. It's gonna. It's the one unturned stone in this game. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's going to drive me absolutely insane. Okay. Um, hmm. I just really wish I knew what that was. It's gotta be it's just gotta be that thing that I can interact with, right? Even though none of the other things are interactable that are interactable like that are on the map. Cause it looks like it's supposed to be just right there. Oh, is it the car? No. Not the flowers. It's supposed to be like right here. Am I going to go out of bounds again? Trying to interact? <laughs> Let's look around right here real quick. The lamp. Oh, there's nothing here. There's nothing here to interact with. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Couldn't tell you. All right. Well, maybe something will spawn there later. I already read that, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's head to Watery. I can always go to Cauldron. I can go back to Cauldron Lake if I want to. say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea, going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. 
The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Heaven, they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Hmm. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. Swomi <sighs> Hall? Yeah, yeah, real funny. Isn't that Finnish Hall? Or isn't Swomi? Is it, Swomi is the name of the Finnish language? Or is it the people? The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Local girl. Huh. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. Mayor Setter will for stand watering. up for justice. That's such a unique accent. <laughs> All right, let's explore. Watery's definitely quaint. Good day. That was not the voice I expected to come out of that guy's face. I've definitely been to places like this. I need to head back. Yeah, she's got a Bluetooth in her ear. I thought she had a hearing aid for a second. I was like, that's cool. Hey, where's the time gone? There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. Tape. So moody. Hey, what if you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground. So, well, us fishing types appreciate you all at least. Aldrin Lake. Is that interactable? No. Mind giving me a hand in helping out? Uh. I'm supervising the work. And? And it's super. It's a weird point of comparison to make, but walking around these environments reminds me of walking around uh, Arcadia Bay in Life is Strange. The flooding is even worse here. These little... More like underwatery. These I'll little... I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Uh... These like perfectly little set pieced areas that are like really well designed Hello. exteriors. Wow, this is really flooded. She's just she's just getting up in there. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. What? I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. <laughs> Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. You think if the nudity sensor is off, these characters are just butt-ass naked standing out here? More things to learn on a second playthrough. Hey, Sarah, a sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. <laughs> yes, please. We will gladly take that. Ooh. Kalavala Knight's Charm increases hand flares duration and area of effect, saves you from death but shatters in the process for the coffee mug. We're not going to use that then. I got to put some of this stuff in a shoebox, man. That's bad. We might need to run back to town to do that. 
I totally forgot. They had like a full on inventory. Whew. Hot. All right, let's actually run back and do that really quick. Um, yeah, we don't want to. I don't want to have the, my inventory full of stuff, so. All right, we dropped off a bunch of stuff. Uh, now we have space in our inventory to look around. What are we going to do in here? Wonderful, more batteries. That's just what I like to see. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. There's no hole there. You must have done a really good job fixing it. All right, I think that's... Is this everything that I can investigate right now? Is this everything I can go into and stuff? Can we go into this store or whatever? Whatever this is? Is this a building, a store? Not. Yarvisen Vene. One of you Finns in chat, what does that say? What is Yarvisen Vene? All right, can we go in the laughing knacky? Well, they say being old is nope. Just a state of Out of mind. business. I'd like to give them a Bummer. Better is better. I All right. Uh, let's go in here. Did they say this was Ati performing? Is he singing? <laughs> okay, I'm going to guess that this is not copyrighted. Welcome to Coffee World, one of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ilmo Koskala, who, with the help of his brother Yako, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening. Oops. Uh, Watery bustling hub, blah, 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 grand opening around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Ilmo, what is Coffee World about? Ilmo. Uh, says, I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all the ages. All right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, thrills, and excitement you could ask for, and of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and iced. Put that in. How did this unique business idea, uh, blah, 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 come about? Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you could say. But that's even more important to me, or what's even more important to me than my memory, my many successful businesses in our hometown, with my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process, too. Coffee World is just as much for the town people as it is for the out-of-towners. Which attraction should the visitors be sure not to miss? Ilmo. Oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible, but the Slow Roaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic. And the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You never know what treasures you might find. Coffee, at least, I bet. Yes. Uh, RF says, uh, is, Ati, is this Ati on his vacation? We do know that he sent a postcard to Jesse from Watery, so presumably this is Ati on his vacation. Uh, maybe Ati knew he could trust Jesse. He did, he did know that. He did say that in control. Um, you know, Jesse is the director, after all. Um, it could be another sewage problem, the darkness in the lake, but at the same time, I think, I think it's... I think Ati is truly here just just watching over things, you know, just doing his thing. An anonymous sort sent this photograph to our editors, claiming it captured during the last full moon. A majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water or an elaborate prank. A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature, uh, or a submarine relic from the Cold War era. A lonely wanderer searching for companionship in a compassion or a fearsome monster out for blood. These questions, among others, haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record after one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming Watery's waters. And making a rare but opportune appearance, this titillating spotting might just be the event of the year. 
As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record uh, invite all our readers uh, to a naming competition. What should our local bees be called? Watery Wanda? Shelly the Sea Monster? Send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations uh, to follow as the story unfolds. Moose Fest meets Swomi Hall, Raffles Karaoke and Skits, Glogi, Korva Pusti, and Karyalan Piraka. Come one, come all. I should look at the uh, the subtitles of that and probably learn a thing or two, but... Excuse me. Do you fuck up with my friend? Auntie's in the middle of the show. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. <laughs> Ati and the Janitors. Was this his band? That sure looks like him. Huh. The bottom of the well into a pile of corpses. No one will make it alive through this night. In his dark room, he writes. He fishes you into this verse from his fever dreams. He stares at you in the mirror. So Ati's singing in the uh, in control was also relevant to the plot. So do we just need to sit here and listen to this? We want that. <clears throat> well, that's enough probably copyrighted music to ruin ruin this VOD. Uh, let's look. We can't go further downtown. There's a point of interest inside Swomi Hall and a conversation with new choices to have. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. So Tor and Odin, those are the those are the old gods of Asgard. So is she related to them? Is that why they, they just brought her up? So she is from around here. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. She we are is. On day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. So, yeah, she is being written into the story. That's why she doesn't remember. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Huh. Okay. Fascinating. We just have to go back over here? And talk to these people again? Trailer park. I need to find the manager. Ilmo Koskela. The advertising guy. Hey, Saga! Over here! So Arv says, so theory, neither her nor Alex kiss your FBI at all. They were written in. Alex doesn't trust Wake because he's the first victim of Wake's writings. A real person drawn into a world he didn't want to be in. So I think... I think the logic of that theory makes sense, but I don't think it actually checks out with this world. I think by writing them into this story and changing them, they just it is now just a fact of reality that they are the FBI. It's not that they're not FBI. It's that suddenly their history has changed and they've been FBI the whole time. I think that's how the stuff works. So I think they really are FBI, and I think Alex Casey definitely is. We know that he is basically a product of 
Alan Wake's creation, but the question being posed by Alan being able to re alter reality isn't, are these people fictional characters? Are they fake? It's what is their agency in their own lives, which now are extant and real and exist. Then you're in luck. That was weird. Introducing the brothers who need no introduction, the Koskalas. Ilmo voted businessman of the year by the Bright Falls Herald and Yako. A stay-at-home dad. I'm proud of that. Ah, I miss that Anderson sense of humor. It's great to see you again, Saga. Yeah, super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Seems like it didn't play a, uh, didn't play the, the line. Uh, I'm looking for a trailer. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but... Uh... Now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. RF says, uh, the fact that we're both, we're, that we're so confused but interested in thinking about it, that's what makes this kind of story work so well. After all, answers don't satisfy and, don't, and aren't needed in horror. I don't agree. First off, to clarify, I'm not confused. I'm just putting things together one piece at a time as the story is revealed to us. Two, uh, answers can satisfy, and while they aren't necessarily needed in horror, you don't need answers for anything, well-placed answers that have thematic value do increase the value uh, of, of what things are doing. And I don't think that this game is being coy about providing answers. In fact, we've already learned a whole lot about uh, we've gotten a lot of answers about the questions in this game. Uh, Ars says second line was just a reference to the beginning of the story. I'm just trying to be witty. No, I understand what you're saying. I'm not. I'm not calling you out specifically. I'm more saying uh, I think that I think that this game is doing something interesting with how it reveals information in making things in making those reveals valuable and, and engaging. Right. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had smooth a real moon until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats <coughs> for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Hmm. So... Your commercials. They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Have I profiled every subject? Huh. Interesting. So yeah, she seems to be onto the same idea that I was onto earlier, which is that the story being altered behind them as they're moving forwards through it is affecting their memories it's changing reality or whatever um and so as far as these people are concerned she is this other person she's she's dialectically maintaining both both the fiction and her previous reality um and they're conflicting which is neat 
kind of what Alan was doing in his gameplay moments where he's like piecing things together so we can like get through a room by having the story be one thing and then coming back through it with the stuff he got from the other side and then altering it so that he can go to a different path like conflicting rewrites that's a really interesting uh, little ludo narrative right there i like that